Today you'll learn how to combine the search operators you learned on the last lesson. I'll also teach you how to use them together with the minus and the asterisk symbols. And I'll teach you a new search operator. Let's go to the computer. Imagine you want to find a note with a specific title. We can use the operator in title column and then the word you're looking for, dragging, for example. And here we have it. We have dragging Evernote and we have dragging containers. But it doesn't have to be the entire word. For example, let's try drag. Then I have drag, Komodo dragon, dragging and dragging again. And finally, use the quotation marks and this will return only that specific word. And here we have it, drag. Okay, time to combine operators. Let's start with tag column Ian small. Okay, now we have two nodes with the tag Ian small. This one is in the YouTube notebook and this one in the knowledge base notebook. If I add here the operator notebook column, YouTube, you know what's gonna happen, right? Now I have the tag Ian small combined with the notebook YouTube. We'll see only nodes matching this combination. You can also combine the same operator Say tag Evernote and tag 2014. But remember what you learned on the last class. The note has to have both tags. In this case, this one has Evernote and 2014. Evernote, 2014, Evernote, and 2014. I can't stress this enough. It doesn't matter if it has other tags. The only thing the search is looking for is the tag Evernote and the tag 2014 in this example. If we pay attention here, this one doesn't have Philibon, this one doesn't have Philibon, and this one has Philibon, the tag Philibon. Let's say I don't want to see this note. All I have to do here is add minus tag Philibon. And here we have it, all the notes with the Evernote tag, with the 2014 tag, but they cannot have the Philibon tag. Let's say I'm looking for all the tags that start with the letters A and N. Okay, let's do it. Tag A N asterisk A N A N A N. Is this being useful so far? I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Let's keep moving. With all that you learned, Let's go crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use this notebook as an example because it has less notes. It's easier to see what's going to happen. So we have here 13 notes. Only one note here doesn't have the, the bio tag. Even this one has it. So we have 12 notes with the tag bio. And this one here has subway and the title. This one here has my wife's name as a tag. So here's what we are gonna do. Let's go back to the notes view to show you that there is no trick here. <laughs> Let's start with notebook trips. Okay, we have the same 13 notes. Now let's see only the ones with the bio tag. Tag bio. Okay, now we have 12 notes. But let's say I don't want to see notes with subway in the title. Minus in title subway. 11 notes. And I don't want to see notes that have tags starting with the letters A and N. 10 notes. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> 
Okay, that's how I create my systems in Evernote. First, I need to understand what I'll need to know, what I'll need to do, what I'll need to find. With that information and understanding how the advanced search works, I can create the best systems and change them if I need to. Was this useful for you? I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you wanna learn more about Evernote, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.